So I'd like to bring up this discussion about brain fog uh, and open it up about um, what are some causes. Teresa said, I'm fairly confident that it's due to my blood sugar uh, dropping. I can feel it happening. I feel very confused and my brain will not work. So I, Teresa, thank you for catching the bit about blood sugar. <laughs> And this week, the biggest question of the week was really about brain fog, okay? And there were over 200 comments um, in the Facebook group about brain fog. And today I'm really, I mean, I loved all the comments and everything. We're gonna talk a little bit about that, but I really wanna shed the light on what is brain fog and what the heck can you do about it? How do you fix brain fog and why is it important? So I'm just going to go over right now, like looking at the Facebook group, a couple things. Uh, what are some common descriptions of what brain fog is? And this is directly from your mouths, people. Um, so Ryan says that it's an inability to recall a certain word on demand that is part of your working vocabulary. I just felt stupid because I couldn't talk like I wanted to. How many of you have had that, right? Uh, T says... After a while, the person talking sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher. If any of you can recall that. So basically there's difficulty with focusing, concentrating, and memory. Boy, and then Brittany says, almost feels like being intoxicated, not fun, okay? Brianna says, the scariest one I've had is a sudden blank when I was driving. I couldn't remember the path I was taking Although I've took it many times before and I couldn't picture the exits or road ahead, so I panicked. It was a total mental block. I actually wanna welcome a lot of people into our Facebook group from the TBI community, which is Traumatic Brain Injury Community. Many of you have actually seen the interview I did with Amy on um, the concussion discussions. If you haven't seen it, um, Cora is gonna put a link in the comment section. Uh, and I discussed in there a huge role of why is it after traumatic brain injuries, why some people recover fairly quickly and some people take a long time to recover. So I want to welcome all the people from the TBI community and concussion discussions in here. We're going to talk about concussion and the role of brain fog with that as well. So if you're from, if you saw concussions discussions, please put in the comment section that you saw, you saw our interview there and tell me what was your biggest takeaway from the concussion discussions. Okay. that would be awesome. Put in the comment section. I love talking with you. I hate talking at people. I love talking with people. So would you guys please comment back? Show me some love. That'd be great. So Ashley says brain fog is like having a uh, significant part of your brain paralyzed so you can't access it. Carrie says it feels like moving through peanut butter, trying to grasp thoughts just out of reach. Yeah. How many of you just can't even find those words? Word finding. How many of you is memory? Somebody um, was guessing that is it inflammation or fatigue? Um, you know, physical fatigue and mental fatigue. Daisy said, um, is brain fog caused by blood vessels in the brain uh, being over relaxed and sluggish? And does caffeine make it better or worse? Some of the questions. Teresa said, I'm fairly confident that it's due to my blood sugar uh, dropping. I can feel it happening. I feel very confused and my brain will not work. So I, Teresa, thank you for catching the bit about blood sugar. And if any of you missed my last autoimmune table talk from last week, Cora can put a link in the comment section. That was about what time of day are autoimmune symptoms the worst. And there's a big discussion there about blood sugar and time of day as well. If you missed it, make sure you go ahead and catch it and watch it, all right? And Laura says, um, please discuss brain fog in terms of potential mitochondrial dysfunction. What does mitochondria have to do with it? And what the hell are mitochondria? Uh, those are really good questions. Now, there's been a lot of us with the brain fog. I mean, I'm describing you. And if I am, go ahead in the comment section and say why I'm describing you. Does any of this resonate and sound like you? If so, let me know in the comment section why. Um, some of the attempts that people have made to manage it, and I'm going to let you guys know, if you don't know what the heck is causing it, how do you manage or treat it, right? So that's why I think this discussion is really important. Um, Laura says, Laura G says, my brain fog is worse, often worse after eating. She's done three gut healing protocols, probiotics and all, nothing helps. I don't know if nothing helps, but I can see totally why Laura would feel that way. A lot of people are like, oh, it's all in the gut. Well, she's done three gut healing protocols. Does gut healing protocols, just doing them, 
bring an answer to any sort of gut problems. Is that the solution? Just doing some gut healing protocols. Obviously for her it's not, right? It's because she's done it three times. Barb, who's had a TBI, traumatic brain injury, said, I've had brain fog ever since um, she fainted and broke her nose. And it, ever since then, it's been hard to concentrate. So if you have actually a trauma to your brain, uh, there could be actual physical damage there. But what can be done, right? Jennifer says it's gotten worse over the past four years since having her gallbladder out. What does your gallbladder or your gut have anything to do with it? Uh, and she's also had a diagnosis of Sjogren's, which brings up, does autoimmunity have anything to do with it? So I'd like to bring up this discussion about brain fog uh, and open it up about um, what are some causes. This is a discussion in the middle of the tra uh, Facebook group, which is Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. But as I'm going to let you guys know, this isn't just all about autoimmunity. There's huge other causes of brain fog as well, but it's absolutely worse in people with autoimmune disease. So I want to bring this to a larger discussion. What are some common causes of brain fog that could be reversible? So I don't want to just sit here and doom and gloom and be like, oh, you, you had a stroke 10 years ago and there are dead brain cells and now you're screwed. I don't, I don't really, I don't believe that personally. The brain has an incredible capacity to heal. Um, and I don't care um, if it's happened now or it's happened 10 years ago, there's still ongoing brain repair uh, that's ha that can happen. I'm Maggie UMD and I am a functional and holistic medicine physician, 23, 24 years in practice now. And my first 10 years was as a family medicine physician and my last 13, 14 years as a functional holistic medicine physician. And I want you guys to know that for me, my brain fog and being a practicing physician came because of early menopause. And I really literally felt like I was freaking losing my mind. And somebody was mentioning how, you know, the word finding was difficulty, memory was difficult. Um, and numbers and math was always difficult for me. But uh, really blanking out on birthdays was uh, my own birthday or not my own, but my kid's birthday or people around me's birthday. That was probably some of the early signs of brain fog for me. And as you can tell, what I'm leading up to is there was definitely a hormonal trigger for me, right? And I'll talk a little more about that. If any of you are watching and you're not part of our Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally, please join the group because everybody in the group, it's a private group. Um, go ahead and click um, search Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally and join. People in the group gets first dibs to all the lives that I'm doing for Autoimmune Table Talk and any of these topics, including brain fog today. So join the group.